Hey, it's Tim. One of the questions I get all the time is, hey, I'm buying an investment property or I'm taking my primary home and I'm going to rent it out to a tenant and buy a new place. What do I need to know from an insurance standpoint or any issue, other issues that might arise? The first thing I always uh, tell folks is make sure that you understand the laws and the state where the property is because they vary quite a bit. The tenant laws in the state of California are a lot different than the tenant laws in a state like Arizona or Nevada. That's in regards to the eviction process, what you're even allowed to ask a tenant when they come and apply to rent the property from you. You gotta be really careful about that. You can really end up in hot water if you end up asking questions that are prohibited by law. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you wanna make sure that you understand exactly what your landlord policy covers because they're not all the same. So generally speaking, they're probably gonna cover if the house burns down. They're probably gonna cover if a storm, a windstorm comes and blows the roof off. Those things, probably, I certainly hope so. But there's some items like personal injury, which protects you for lawsuits from invasion of privacy, for instance, that are not on every policy. Or loss of rents that reimburses you if a tenant has to move out due to a covered claim and you lose that rental income. You wanna make sure you have coverage for that too. And these things might not be automatic with an insurance policy. You just wanna make sure you understand exactly what you got. And on, on that note, there's one area that most policies will not include, and that's workers' compensation coverage. Your primary home, the one that you live in full time, probably has workers' comp coverage. So what that means is you hire a plumber to fix a leaky pipe, or you hire a maid or a gardener, any number of folks, and they get hurt on the job, or they say they got hurt on the job, you've got coverage for it. No big deal, you file a claim, the insurance company takes care of it. With a policy that's a landlord policy that you have a tenant in the home, that's not the case. That coverage is definitely not included. You'd have to have a whole separate policy for that. So if you hire somebody to do work at a property occupied by a tenant and they get hurt, they better have their own workers' comp insurance or that's going to fall on you and you're probably not covered for it. So the thing you want to do in this case is before you hire somebody, ask them to send over a proof of their insurance, specifically proof of workers' comp insurance. It's something called a certificate of insurance so you can see on paper that they've got coverage. And that way, you know, if something were to go sideways, it's gonna fall on their insurance company and not fall on you as the person that hired them. So these are just a few of the pitfalls that you wanna pay attention to when you own a property, rent it out to a tenant. I hope I didn't scare you. I think being a, the owner of real estate, rent it to a tenant is a fantastic idea. You just wanna make sure that you know a few things before you take that step. Thank you so much, have a great day.